Hey everybody, Randy here in the Eastwood Garage with another live video on Facebook, YouTube, and at Eastwood.com. Today we're talking about the Contour SCT. I have Matt with us, and if you tune in every Wednesday, you, you remember Matt from uh, our Wednesday live videos. And over here, we've got Scotty C answering all your questions. Scott, wave to your fans. You don't have to bother saying hi, just wave to them. And uh, uh, today we're demonstrating the Contour SCT, our service conditioning tool. It's great for removing uh, paint, rust, body filler. We've got a few drums available. And today we're going to show you we've got all kinds of drums. They're in the building. They're almost ready to be shipped. They're going to be on our website available to you either probably later today or tomorrow. So make sure you keep checking eastwood.com. Um, and we're going to show you what some of them can do. But Matt, what do we got going today? So I want to show you guys the, uh, the STT actually in action. So uh, and a couple of my favorite features about it as we're going to take some paint off. Um, one of the things with this tool that uh, is different than there's some, there's some tools that have been out for quite some time that have a similar look to it, um, but they're not designed for automotive like uh, this tool is. So, and that's uh, the abrasive drum. Yeah, so yeah. on here we have the, our abrasive drum. It comes with the red, um, the red surface conditioning drum, but this is the, the abrasive drum that's good for stripping paint here. So we have this 56 Chevy Fender that I did a little bit of repair work on and alive. Uh, a little while ago, but we still need to strip all the paint off of this thing to finish doing repairs. So I'm going to show you guys uh, how it works. And one real first cool thing is this actually has, it ramps up in speed. So it does have six speeds on it, but when you hit the trigger, it's not, uh, it doesn't start up like a cutoff grinder or something. It's going to have torque to it. It starts up with a nice ramp up speed. And once you get up to your speed, That. Yeah, so and if people ask about heat, yeah. there's like no heat in that at all. I mean, we we've done videos proving it, but you know, you can tell there's no Yeah, the, it's the, not putting much heat into that panel at all. So that's I, not a concern. And my answer to a lot of people they ask that question is it, it's just like any tool. Mm -hmm. If you sit in one spot for too long and abuse the panel, yes, of course you could heat yeah. this up, but you notice I keep moving. Uh, the other thing is this has uh, it actually has metal gears in it. Uh, it doesn't have like a belt, so it doesn't slip. So you could see some of the times when it, one or two of the passes, I'm pushing into it. This isn't stalling the actual tool. It's letting it dig in and, and, and it's you know, giving me feedback. But the other thing, like I, uh, I mentioned before I started, is um, different than some other tools that look uh, similar. This has the drum directly over your line of sight, mm -hmm. right in line. So it's not going to give you torque. You can also see what's going on. And the other thing is you can get in tighter areas with this, with the way the drum is. If it's off in a different configuration, you can't fit into areas like in here where we can actually work a reverse yeah. curve and we can clean that area, which you can't do with a lot of, uh, a lot of tools like that. So that's, uh, that's what I would do first just to get the, the, the paint you know, roughly stripped off. I wasn't too worried about these little spots here. Yeah, and that uh, was quick. Yeah, I mean, that's, and this is original paint here. So this isn't like black oxide primer yeah. with a sprayed on that's going to strip off, you know, even with a DA easy. This is original lacquer paint, and any of you guys that have messed with one of these cars know how hard it is to get that off. Aside yeah. from media blasting, you're there for, you know, with a chemical stripper or something for, for hours. So. All right, well, like what Matt was saying, the uh, Contour SCT here, we'll check it out here a little closer. Um, he was saying like it's it's got six adjustable speeds from 1,000 to 3,700 RPMs. You know it's got this nice ergonomic handle which straight in line, so you don't get that torque and that twisting. And um, it has a nine amp industrial motor. And he like he also mentioned was the gear design. We've got some footage where we remove the cover, so you can see this is an industrial an industrial tool set for um, from the hot for the hot for not only the hobbyist but the professional. Anybody who's looking to strip paint rust body filler. We've got a lot of footage um, from, uh, from just hobbyists to professional users. Uh, Empire Fabrication here. They, they were using a tool and they posted this video. They had over 600,000 views in a couple days. The legendary Gene Winfield loves the tool. And here's just footage of it stripping. I don't know what there was on this truck. Six layers maybe of paints 
and uh, body fillers and rust and everything, and it went right through it. All those videos are on the internet. And you know, he said it, it comes with a finishing drum. There's other drums available over here. We've got an expander wheel with sandpaper. We offer different grits of sandpaper. So you just throw, if you never saw it, you just throw the, the sandpaper down over the wheel. And, uh, and it's great because the, the way expander wheel works, it's not solid, so it has some give to it. And then the wheel, the, uh, the abrasive drum that, that Matt was just using. And over here, which we had just teased a little bit ago, are um, all kinds of other drums. Uh, a buffing drum, actually one for buffing. We've got one here that's for aluminum. It's a, a lot of these are, other, are very fine grits. Um, just basically an expansion of, of our drums that are already popular. Because they're so popular, we tried to offer some, some other variations, some other grit sizes. And this one right here, Matt, you know. Yeah, so I, that one's probably, uh, um, I always say, we listen to you guys when, you, when, you're, when you're leaving us comments on social media or sending us emails, we listen. So one of the biggest things we heard was these drums, some of these drums, uh, like the, the black abrasive and the red one, they, if you hit a sharp edge with them, or you're trying to work around something, it's not just a, you know, yeah. a contoured pattern that's smooth, it eats them up quick. Yeah, it I mean, nicks it, them. Yeah, it, it just, there's nothing you can do about it. It's just like when you use a cutoff grinder, if you nick it, it's, it's kind of, yep. you know, it's done. So with this, we got this one that's kind of looks almost like a wire brush type configuration. Mm -hmm. um, so that, that thing is aggressive enough that it can take paint off, but you can work around these edges or these sharp areas, or even if you need to get around hardware, uh, like on a frame or something like that, you can run this around, you know, rivets or bolts that are in a frame. You don't have that concern of yeah. just destroying it. So it's good to add some of these drums into your arsenal yeah. so it, it takes no time to swap them out. I mean, I'll swap this yeah, one out. Yeah, let's swap that one. We, we come quick. around here so where they can see us. Yeah, shows. So. That's why if I'm, if I'm using these drums, I'll start off and do the big area first yep. and avoid all edges and bolts. And then, and then at the end, or save them. When they wear down, save them and then use them, you know, yep. or get yourself one of these to use at the end. You know, that way you're not destroying a brand new drum. Oh, yeah, definitely. So well, you're saying they're pretty easy to use. I mean, yeah, easy so to swap out. You can uh, just take the nut off of the uh, Allen bolt off. It is opposite thread. We put, a little, uh, we put a little note here on the washer so you guys don't forget. But it is opposite thread, which just keeps it from loosening while you're running it. Um, the cool thing is it has two keyways in it. So you don't have to worry about this stripping out or uh, you know, from put, when you're hammering down on it with pressure, it's not gonna spin the wheel. It's got two keyways in here, which is really nice, and we can swap on another drums, drum. So um, let's throw the red one on. I'll show you just finishing up those areas that we did. It slides back on. Keep telling yourself, opposite thread, opposite thread. <laughs> we tell James that too. Yeah, yeah, don't, <laughs> don't, don't force it in there. Yeah. Or, if you're not sure, try turning it the other way. Yeah. Or you'll Do you have any questions, out. Scott? While we're... Uh, so far, we're just um, cruising along pretty well. We just want to double, you know, repeat that they are all steel gears in there, because I've been asked that one. Yeah, um, so yeah we can show that again. You know, Do we have that footage? We can show, show again. that footage again. That they're all steel gears, so it's going to be a nice, you know, long-lasting uh, tool. Yeah, very industrial-style build. Yeah, yeah and, the, and the motor that's, that comes on this, you know, with, with, with the size of the motor on this, again, this isn't a small tool that is meant for using in, um, you know, home improvement yeah. situations. This is a tool that's made industrial to use, and it's, we had the automotive world in mind when we built this. We're not trying to sell you something that was made for another thing. That we, when we, we came out with this tool, the idea was we wanted guys to hammer on it. And that's why a lot of professional shops are just shouting about how much time it's saving them to do it. So if you're somebody that, we have a lot of guys that buy this tool, they love this red drum, and they're, what they're doing is metal finishing panels, kind of like I did here in one of our uh, lives where we did a repair here. And what it does, it saves you the time with a DA and a scotch bright mm -hmm. trying to get the panel. Like, if you're trying to get beautiful metal finish work um, with basically no filler, this takes forever yeah. with a DA. So with this, we can just run over. And it's ready for primer, because yep. it's putting some tooth in the metal. So rather than have like to add that DA, yeah. this is doing it. So you can strip and get it all ready on one shot. Yep. And it makes your Instagram photos look great. <laughs> <laughs>
Wow. So I wanted to show you guys there, even though we say the black drum is the best, you know, you can use the red drum. You just got to push a little harder. It wears yeah. it out a little quicker. But I mean, I'm taking off lacquer paint even with this finishing one because the tool has so much power to rip through it. But I mean, if you look at that finish, that gives that. I mean, that's wow. a beautiful brushed finish. Yeah. I mean, if you send that to your body guy to, yeah. to, to prime and do his final painting on, he's going to be very, very happy with you instead of having something that's, that's uh, you know, they have to go over. But, you know, this gives it a nice finish, rips through the paint. But again, if you want the quickest solution, take the black drum, knock it all down really, really fast, swap to your red, and just run back just, over the panel. Just follow it up. Yep. Yeah. And, all right, well, like Matt was saying, if, you, if you're just joining us um, and you want to see us in action, you know, you'll be able to watch us recorded on Facebook and YouTube. Don't forget, we, there's tons of videos on this, on this awesome tool, the Contour SCT surface conditioning tool, not only on Eastwood.com and on the Eastwood YouTube channel, but also ones that other like Empire Fab, Gene Winfield, um, Mike Phillips, you yes. know, a lot of those guys have been using it and they posted videos. So... One more time, if you're just joining us, like six speeds adjustable from 1,000 to 3,700 RPMs. It does have a trigger lock as well here, so you can lock it on. Like Matt was saying, ergonomic handle so you don't get torque because it's right, um, it's right in line. So it's really easy to use. And it's got a 9 amp industrial motor. And as we had showed you earlier, it has the, uh, the all steel gears. So you know it is a very uh, industrial unit. And, you know, it comes with this uh, surface conditioning um, drum, but there's other drums available, the expander wheel as well as, as the abrasive drum. And starting possibly today, we just pulled them out of the warehouse, so they're probably going to be on the website and available later today or tomorrow. All kinds of other wheels, you know, different grits of our current ones, Let's see. a buffing wheel. Let's see if Joe can get this one. This is pretty cool for you guys that have been asking about it. And they should, let, they should last. It's actually, has, it's actually sandpaper yep. in between there, so that's maybe... It's kind of like an intermediate, you know, between yeah. the red and the red and the black. Or is that like a hundred and some grid? Or uh, it says it on one, it, right? Or no, it doesn't. No, oh. they're uh, one. Or no, this one's. This one is the eighty grit. Yeah. So there's a, there's two red ones. That's why I had to look here. So we got a two forty, and an eighty, and they're pretty close. I mean, you can feel them in your hands, but uh, you, basically it has has in between each layer of the uh, the woven material. It's got a piece of sandpaper in here. So you guys are going to get a lot more life out of that as it's spinning. It's going to be using the sandpaper as well as the woven material. So you, this is going to be a little more efficient than using the red one. Um, nice in between. So this will get you everything you need. Or if you're a freak you and you want, a, you want a metal, you want to buff yeah. your, your panel, you're that proud of your repair, you can buff it. Now this is good for doing, you know, if you have an yeah. aluminum body vehicle and, you know, you want to, you want to, uh, actually buff something up or, or a large piece, you can use this to buff up um, a large area very quickly. And then nice. we showed earlier the, the, three, the 320 grit for like aluminum, yep. it's like softer metals. And then this one here, um, which is sort of like a wire brush, and this is going to be great for heavy rust or around edges and bolts um, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to help remove it without, like Matt had said earlier, without uh, nicking and cutting your drum and ruin it, which can happen around sharp yeah. edges. Yeah. So, um, do we have any questions here? Yep, last one would be, uh, if you can, uh, you actually have it up right now, I'm seeing it, but um, the polyester one, the one that's like the, or the, not the nylon, like the nylon brush one. Yeah. Just bring that up one more time, because someone had asked if they could look at it one more time, because they said it'd be nice for doing actually more than just automotive. Well, uh, we've had... Um, he was hoping to do with, it. With the expander drum, um, we've sanded some deck boards. Yep. So this tool with the expander drum really, you know, it, it seemed to do a pretty good job on something like that as well. Um, and, and if you have one of these, post it. I mean, you know, we want to hear how much you guys like this tool, what you're using it for, because that's why we came out with all these other, what do we've got here, five or six more drums that we didn't have a yep. couple days ago, because um, this tool hasn't been out that long, just came out what, in the fall. Yep. And, you know, because we listen to our customers, and we came out with more drums. So if you guys have any ideas for improvements or if you have any ideas for other uses for the tool, you know, let everyone know and let us know because we'll take that into consideration, you know, when we're, uh, you know, improving the tool or coming out with new uh, accessories for it. So I guess if that's it, thanks a lot yeah. for the demo, Matt. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, Randy. And uh, don't forget to visit eastwood.com to get your Contour SCT today or um, all the uh, available accessories. So, and uh, I guess we'll see you.
next Monday. Yeah, next Monday. Every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 3 o'clock Eastern time. Thanks, guys. All right. I'm going to go over and talk to Scott. <laughs>